This video is proudly brought to you by Dirt Road Outfitters. How's it guys? Craig Mitchell from Kagi Bush here. Myself and seven mates, we've gone uh, on a five day, four night primitive camping uh, hike through the middle of the big five game reserve in Infolozi game reserve. This place is ridiculous. Um, we have to carry about 25 kgs worth of gear on our backs. We're hiking on average 15 k's a day with, with the, the, those heavy packs up and down mountains uh, and through rivers and we, it's unbelievable. We, we're listening to, to lions, hyena at night, elephants. We've stumbled across rhino and elephant already. Um, but what a magical experience. If no one's ever done this and, you, and this is your kind of thing, you guys have to do this. Really, really, really unbelievable. So the thing is, you take everything with you. You take, you drink the water from the river, you purify it. And yeah, we, we cook every night on a fire and one person has to take an hour's watch every uh, every night. Um, it's just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely magical. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, see us in the next one. Cheers guys. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Get used to this. Every year it's the same. How, how heavy do you reckon that thing is? I reckon. Yeah. I've got one, yeah. yeah I've got one. 20, 20 kgs, 20 to 25, I reckon. That is a world class cooler box. <laughs> Sketch. Let's see if the Let's see if the Guni stays calm. Or not for Sunday. World, wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. Got that smile upon my face Cause there's excitement in the chase This I know Yeah, I'm going for the ride And by myself I am alive And I soar Still I run towards the wind And let the challenge draw me in Cause I want more Oh, we are all
I was meant to be Living free, living free, living free And I was meant to be I'm living free, living free, living free And I was meant to be free Meant to be free Cool. This is bush fish. Bro. So I was like cold all the time we here. Yes. Not rotten. Very good. You'll cool. see us from us from tomorrow. There's camp over there. There's a fridge. Guy's <laughs> coming to get his beer cold, he's gonna put it in the yeah. fridge. Ah oh, you're putting that in the fridge that, that there. What? Is that going in the fridge that there? Yeah. So you, you need to create your own bar or fridge. You dig up the soil there by the sand or that side and you just chuck it in. Yeah. Yeah. Job is busy, busy putting some clay on the pot so it doesn't burn. Protects yes. the pot. So what did you think of the day? <laughs> Amazing. I've never experienced anything like this before. It's cool though. What was your highlight so far? Yeah, highlight so far. What was the best thing so far today? The low light was Tom's story. I'm still trying to get over that. Can you explain the story to the viewers? No, I'm not going to explain that. That's a go on to a story, but I was I'm still I think a little bit disappointed. I think we should today. just call him from now on and one inch Tom. <laughs> And the worst part? The worst part? I can tell you what my worst part is. Are you defrosting there, Johnny? The, back, your worst the backpack. The backpack. Yes. Yeah. I think I'm going to have bruises here. <laughs> and here. It was heavy, yeah? Yeah, it takes a while to adjust to oh. your straps. I'll actually tell you what the worst part was. Uh, basically driving into the gate to go to reception to go to the pack our bags and then driving all the way back to where we had come from. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, that was a little bit of a waste of time. <laughs> but, uh, oh, what was your best part of the day? Best, best part of the day? Driving. Driving? Driving. Uh, driving. Driving where? Here? Yeah, or yeah, okay. I, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, my, I my best part is about to open an ice, ice cold and goonie. Yeah. Sorry, what was that again? My best part is opening an ice cold and goonie here, which okay. I froze overnight. Well, actually, the last three nights. Okay, I'm gonna have my first sip of my uni here. Your label was the wrong way around. Do it again. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable. In the bush. In the bush. Here at your shlui on Pelosi. How was your, what was your best part of the day? This was my best part this. of the day. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Huh? The be actually, I laughed. The best part of my, of my day was taking that backpack off five yeah. minutes ago. <laughs> okay, what was your worst part of the day? The backpack. 100%. <laughs> yes. Where? 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 Where's Buffalo? It's probably in the reeds here.
I've never seen seen a path on that big. Yeah. 
I had all the confidence in you. Is it fine to touch the tail? Get closer. No, he's turning around. No, his head's coming this way now. Careful, you bring him out. Nope. No, he's coming out. day on the Shishlui Primitive Trail. We are at uh, Sharkers Tribunal Court where he used to find people guilty and chuck them off the cliff in here. The animals would obviously tackle them and tear them to smithereens. Here we've got uh, three of the big five. It's a herd of about 50 eddies. And there's uh, a couple, one rhino there in the distance on the red sand. Absolutely beautiful here. 
cannot beat this. Friday midday, normally we would all be sitting in the office doing the typical rat race. This is a perfect uh, reset and uh, absolute bliss. Actually, do have quite a big main chap apparently, uh, but uh, anyway, we are here in Amphalosi. This is the spa, cleaning ourselves, and uh, these boys are looking absolutely beautiful. Hey, looking good there, brother. Oh. Right, over and out. some clay we decided to pull into um, the spa this afternoon and now we all are having mud masks uh, holding each other's hands yeah. Uh, sure yeah I'm with a bunch of uh, hooligans here and <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the whole uh, the whole game thing is just fake news. <laughs> so the whole uh, the whole game thing is just fake news. Um, with a bunch of nudists here, <laughs> and over there by that tree is some gold. Serving for lion logger. <laughs> the other ones are lacquer top. Very, very cool. Those eggs are chilling out there, lacquer. And we're just relaxing in the Amphalosi River. We survive Sharkers Rock. Absolutely. Mark, why don't you throw this back? That's the boys packing up in the morning. Getting ready to leave. Uh, this morning, apparently, we're crossing the river.
they're tuning around. It's too funny. Somewhere behind him, we saw the buffalo. I wonder where he's in the car. So once we had crossed the river, we came across this uh, sighting. It was a dead buffalo bull, an old dog or boy you could see by the size of his horns or how close those buffs were together, uh, that he was an old boy. Um, he had apparently drowned upriver during the floods and he was washed downriver to this flat section on the riverbank uh, where he was left in the open and he was so badly rotten. He was clearly underwater for such a long time that none of the vultures nor any predators or hyenas even would consider eating him. Apparently he was so badly rotten that nothing would even consider it. Um, and quite a, quite a sad sighting. But yeah, this is our way up to camp now. Uh, it was quite a hectic, hectic climb. Uh, the, you know, those backpacks were, were felt even heavier up here. But once we got to the top, it was such an awesome, awesome view. Uh, of the area. Um, so after this, we decided to actually go for a, a walk um, down. So <laughs> we just climbed up here and now we decided to go back down. And here we are walking down the bottom section towards uh, what was probably the worst thing that we've, we've seen so far on the site. Uh, uh, sorry, on this trip was a dead rhino. Uh, well, the remains of a dead rhino. Um, this was one of the many rhino poachings that this reserve is going through. Uh, this was one of three that happened in one day in recent months. Um, and it is really, really sad to, to hear from Jabu and Nonto uh, their concerns of what is actually happening in this reserve. Um, it, is, it is rough. It is really, really bad. And we need to spread the word and do what we can to you know, help if possible. Um, the uh, the anti-poaching units need more funding. Um, they really do need as much help as possible. And it's so sad to see, to come across this. We, we never came across huge carcasses. We only came up upon the bones. I don't think a job would, would want us to actually come across a, uh, sorry, and that's, sorry, that's my, me showing you guys exactly where the camp is. Uh, um, Graham was actually sitting up there while we were doing this, watching us. Um, but I don't think uh, Jabu would actually tell us or show us a full carcass if he knew of it. Um, it's probably the worst thing to come across. I have seen several uh, soon after a, a poaching incident um, where these animals are bloated and they're in the air with their legs and it's, it's a disgusting, disgusting uh, sight to see. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this 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 is the reality of of what's happening in Africa, um, and it's important. I know this might be a long stretch of, of the video, but it's important to for this video to actually uh, inform and and advocate the 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 uh, the the Rana issue um, that needs support in, in bus by many, by, by all of us. Um, but yeah, sorry, sorry to have a bit of a more, a bit of a sad, sad uh, element of this video, but it is reality and it, it needs to be resolved some way or another. Um, interesting enough, this reserve, uh, they do not uh, cut horns at all. Uh, they believe that 
the horns are needed for the um, uh, for the rhinos to survive uh, or to live properly, uh, to fight each other, to defend off elephants, to fend off lion, and if they take that away, it might be an issue. I know there's a lot of people out there who have views on this. Um, but this is KZN Wildlife's view that no horn will be removed. It's natural and it needs to stay. Um, yeah, guys. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully to the rest of this video is a bit, bit more <laughs> uplifting. Maybe put some nicer happy music for you guys. Thanks, guys. Pushed down by an elephant. Holy moly. How big was that thing you've been, eh? Yes. The last last evening in the bush. Bring your way out of here. And for supper now. Yeah. And then this one, this one's a This is a hip hop. Yeah. What's this? Photos. We, can we, we can't see it. <laughs> How are we supposed to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a line, guys. That's why if you be, yeah, a line, yeah. try to, to, to be not talking loud in there, maybe in the morning we end up seizing it. But if you talk loud, eh? Okay, tell me, tell me all the prints here, so we can see what that's like. This is a land spore. Yeah. Uh, this one is a track that is coming from white rhino because there's TW, that yeah. attack TW for white. Yeah, white line, rhino. Uh, this one is from Impala. Hey, hey, hey. 
Yeah. And this one is from the <laughs> No, not cool think. from the buffalo. Okay. Okay. Also, this one is from the buffalo. Yeah. From this side. <laughs> the rhino, the white one. Yeah. Buffalo. Then, as you see, this one is from the old Daga boy. As you see, these lands, we just keep on breaking the, the legs, uh, which it shows us it's getting older now. Uh, okay. Color dropping, you see? Is that the dog boy? The buffalo, Daga boy. And color, and color, and color, and color. Yeah, and elephant fur. Baboon. Ah, baboon. Huh? Baboon. And in Palas track. Yeah. Have you put drinking water? Cool boy. Go. Yeah. You think? Yeah. You're taking straight to the to the to the river. What is this? What is this? Is this, uh, this is hyena? It's got claws. Try to find you for the hyena one. That one's got claws, so that's hyena. Eh? Mm -hmm. From Babu. Babu. Oh, okay, but they're wrong. It looks like a kid's hand. Yeah, uh, yeah, that one. Hyena does this for the hard shit. It's a pet. Yeah, what's that? It's for the hyena. Yeah, there, there. This one, yeah. Come, but here's the hyena. This one, yeah. Come and have a look. This is hyena trap. Yeah, there, okay. You see, heart shape, heart yeah, shape yeah. at the back. Heart shape you see, neck. plus claw marks. Yeah. And this one and this one, yeah. But now cheetahs also got the claws, eh? Cheetah, yes. Okay. Only, only cat. They are having the, 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 the three loops at the back. Okay. Okay. Where? Oh, beware. <laughs> oh, big jump. It is big. <laughs> A couple like that one we saw.
done the whole minutes of the uh, As you can tell. Tuck. Guys, this one, watch this thing, eh? This thing? Yeah, it's a little squish, a little full of Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's got me. That was... Hey. Oh, whoa! Oh. Shit. I did shit myself. What? You when you did that? I thought it was. Holy man. That is very cool. Ah, oh, yes. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, watch this. Don't go down. No, I slipped like three times just trying to get up. No, I was just thinking there's a big hole behind me. <laughs> Panic, eh? Yeah, I panicked big time there. Whew. Yes. Where's everyone? Oh. I was tiring. It was tiring but kiff. It was really really cool. I don't want to do it again too time soon though. No. No. I'd go down that hole. Wow. That was cool. Yeah. Now I drink stuff. Yeah. Guys. We were that level nearly, we just climbed up like a rock, rock face. That was proper. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh we home. Yes. Yeah, it's easy. What's it's easy but it's tough. What does that mean?